I'm joined now by Professor of Hematology and the Chief Medical Director and Deputy Vice Chancellor at the Igbenedian University, Professor Godwin Bazoye. Thank you for joining us on the news this hour. Let's begin with a theme for the day's observance. It's called um, Building and Strengthening Global Sickle Cell Communities, Formalizing Newborn Screening and Knowing Your Sickle Cell Disease Status. Let's talk about newborn screening because as we speak, if your child is in two years and above, many of the laboratories we have accessible to Nigerians would say they cannot tell whether uh, they cannot tell the genotype yet. How far would you say we've gone and how accessible is this technology in Nigeria? Uh, thank you very much. Um, respect to newborn screening. Yes, it is uh, important that newborn screening be done uh, worldwide in developed countries. This is a very good way to catch them young and also have a data in terms of managing our patients. And in Nigeria, there are very few centers that have facilities for newborn screening. So I think the issue about this awareness is to actually draw to our attention that government needs to be proactive. So we need to, if you have a child in developed country, the very moment you have that child, your samples, especially when it's black or mixed color, uh, the samples are taken for genotype immediately. And then the results are properly done. You know, there are so many wrong and false results of genotype in Nigeria, in most developing countries. So we are, we are saying that government needs to be proactive. We need to be able to screen um, the number of children we have on a um, daily basis to be able to tell which of them have uh, sickle cell disease. So this will help us plan, and then also you start seeing the child early. Yes, there are some tests that you need to do at the beginning, which we feel that government can provide in all teaching hospitals. Let us have reference centers where we can have this newborn, newborn screening to enable us to coordinate the management of these children as they are born. So, Prof, you pioneered so, the... Um, yes. You... Please go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. All right, thank you, yes, Prof. Yes, uh, with respect to... Um, you know, Nigeria has the highest population of sickle cell in the world. Okay. About 3% of Nigerians have sickle cell disease, and almost about 25% of us are carriers uh, in terms of being able to uh, transmit the, uh, transfer the disease from, our, from parents to offspring. So we are saying that despite the fact that uh, we have a lot of medical um, improved therapy, now sickle cell disease patients can actually have a, a longer lifespan, unlike before, because of improved medical care. But also the, the, the only cure for sickle cell disease actually is stem cell transplantation. And this we pioneered in 2011 with um, uh, the process of sickle cell stem cell transplantation. In, since 2011, we've done a total of about 16 stem cell transplant for sickle cell disease. Uh, currently, Ibenito University Teaching Hospital and Cell Tech Healthcare is the only center in the entire sub-Saharan Africa where this transplant is currently being done. So we're actually saying that this is possible. Uh, sickle cell is not a, a death sentence. There is a improved medication. And also to those who, benefit, who can benefit from stem cell transplant, they can actually be, be cured. And their genotype changes from SS to A. So even those we transplanted in 2011, 2012, they're all still alive. Some of them are now graduates. And they live a normal life after the transplant, where their genotype changes from SS to AA or AS, depending on the donor. But we still recommend that prevention is still the best. And that's why we're talking about strengthening the global community of uh, sickle cell. Let's have an understanding that we need to improve uh, our interactions. And also to, to talk about knowing your genotype. Government needs to be proactive. We need to ensure that, for example, that genotype screening is free. And designate centers that can actually do the test properly. Because many results in this country are false, are wrong results. And they've led to a lot of home breaks and uh, so much confusion. The government can actually make centers uh, have these facilities for the quality uh, testing. And they now make it compulsory to say that if you don't have your genotype screening, you will not be admitted to any university. And then with that, you can actually do that, but make sure that you have facilities in these centers Indeed. who are going to act like reference centers mm. to make sure that quality results. And then with that, if sickle cell was the disease of the white man, by now it would have been eradicated. So I think we need to be proactive 
in terms of prevention and control. 16 transplants in 12 years. Uh, looking forward to seeing more of that and, you know, hearing you say there's only one center in sub-Saharan yeah. Africa yeah, we are is also very baffling. Because uh, this is the only center, as I mentioned, in the whole of sub-Saharan Africa. We have a lot of challenges in terms of... Uh, this is a small private center. We have just a few transplant rooms. And also the cost of transplant is enormous. So we are also appealing that uh, most... Uh, governments to actually come in. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the wives of the governor, for example, sponsoring one stem cell transplant every year. And then NGOs can also come on board to sponsor this. And then Absolutely. we can do more transplant. But currently, yeah, transplant is expensive. Even in developed countries, it's as expensive as uh, $250,000. Mm. So in Nigeria, we do it for about $25,000, which is uh, uh, still small, but it's beyond the reach of many Nigerians. Mm. And so we're appealing to NGOs to take it up. Government wives, uh, governor's wives, and uh, they should take it up and then do one or two transplants a year for their citizens. And this will go a long way in resolving most of the problems we have in sickle cell disease. Professor Godwin Bazwaye is the pioneer of stem cell transplant for the cure of um, sickle cell disease in sub Sahara Africa. Thank you for talking to us on the news this hour. Thank you very much.